Good day. We are Group 12 Chad presenting today a learning management system that we have developed for Sagad High School of Pasig City. Sagad High School is a government school located at Angeles Extension, Pasig, Metro Manila. We picked Sagad High School as our client because as we research information about the school, we have found that the school still has not developed their own learning management system or even their own websites. And to be frank, websites are crucial to an organization's development, especially with today's technology availability. Developing a website for an organization is a whole new experience for us, especially us information technology students. We had a little fun in coding the function of our website and designing the front end websites, web pages. But we also had our struggles at times because we somehow lacked more knowledge about certain functions of our website. But overall, these experiences pushed us to our utmost best and somehow we successfully developed our website and pushed it through our client. Speaking of our client, Sagad High School is one of our key components on why we successfully developed our website. The principal of the school, uh, his name is Sir Nenet M. Peñaranda. He guided us on who are the involved members that the functions of our website benefit from. He gave us an idea on what are the functions role to its users and supported us all throughout our journey of developing this learning management system. However, there are some caveats. One of them is the struggles that we deal in contacting them. Even though we knew that they just supported us, we, there is a bit of, we can't contact them as regularly as we once did due to the busy schedule of the school. However, we updated them about regarding our website and the current progress of our development. We also had other questions about the features and functions of the website that were left unanswered again due to the busy schedule that they had. But even though these struggles had happened throughout the weeks of development, we still successfully implemented all the required features and functions of the learning management system website and hosted it for the school. Speaking of which, let us now discuss the features and functions of our, of our developed learning management system for Sagat High School. In our LMS website, there are three predicted members of the school whom we have identified are expected to utilize the features and functions of the website while also overseeing its regulation and management. We have the admin, the faculty, and the students. These three have their own features and functions within the LMS. Let us first discuss the admin's role in regulating and managing the LMS. The website administrators are responsible for regulating and managing the people allowed to access the LMS. They can create subjects for students, create new students, create new teachers, enroll the newly created students, assign the teachers for the newly created subjects for students, view the grades of students, view the list of newly created students, and view the list of newly created faculty members. In creating new subjects, the admin must provide the subject's name, the description, the schedule, and the section the subject is under. The next function is creating a student. The admin is required to provide the student's first name, last name, middle initial, email, phone number, and the year level. The next function is creating a new teacher. In this function, the admin is required to input the teacher's first name, last name, middle initial, email, and phone number.
After creating a new student, the admin will need to enroll the student to a subject using the enroll student function before they can see their courses or classes. The admin is required to select the student who they wish to enroll into a subject and select the subject they will be enrolling them into and select their tuition fee status before enrolling them. If not specified, it will default to not paid. After creating new teachers, the admin is required to assign teachers to a subject using the assign teacher function. The admin is required to select the teacher to be assigned and the subject they will be assigned to. The admin can also view the student's grades every quarter through the View Students Grade function after creating new students and teachers. The admin is also allowed to view the student list and the list of faculty. Viewing these lists will show the login credentials for the new students and faculty members. After enrolling the students and assigning faculty members, admins can share these login credentials with them so they can access the LMS. Now we have discussed the functions and features of the admin dashboard. Let us now proceed to the features and functions of the student dashboard. After the admin gives the student his or her login credentials, the student is required to input his login credentials into the login page. The login page requires an ID number, a password, a checkbox to verify if the user is a student or a faculty member. Logging into a student's account, the student dashboard contains the tabs Student Profile and Course. The Student Profile tab has the student's ID number, first name, middle initial, last name, student's email, and student's phone number. The student is also allowed to update his or her profile through the Update Profile feature. The next tab within the student dashboard is the course. Inside the course, the courses that a student enrolled will be featured. When these featured subjects are pressed, the website is going to locate you into a new dashboard. This dashboard contains the tabs, lecture videos, subject files. These can be written lectures or announcements, assessments, and lastly, the course grades. After discussing what is inside the student dashboard, let us now proceed with the faculty members dashboard. Similar to how students log on to their accounts, the faculty member is also provided with an ID number and a password that is required to be inputted within the login page. After logging on into the faculty member's account, the user is welcomed by another dashboard that consists of section slash subjects and profile tab. Inside the profile tab, the teacher's profile information will be featured. This consists of the teacher's ID number, first name, middle initial, last name, email, and phone number. The teacher's the teacher is allowed to update his or her profile through the update profile feature. The se section slash subject tab displays all the subjects and section he or she is currently assigned with. The user can press this displayed subjects and sections. After pressing it, the user is welcomed with another dashboard which consists of the upload content, lecture videos, subject files, assessments, and grades tabs. At the upload content tab, 
the user is required to provide the title of the content, the content website, the content link, and the content type. The user is allowed to upload lecture videos, subject files, assessments through the lecture videos, subject files, and assessments tabs. The user is also allowed to edit or input the grade of his or her handled students on the user's currently assigned subject and section. And those, all, and those are the features and functions of the faculty member dashboard. And that is all for our learning management system websites, features, and functions for Sagad High School to effectively use with their day-to-day -day learning experience. Thank you for listening and have a great day.